Hello, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator, Eric McRae. I was uh, just giving thought to the idea of painting. I was uh, I was just speaking with uh, a lady who was uh, signing up for uh, private art instruction. And I, I said to her, uh, I made the statement about expressing versus rendering. And that thing just hit me so powerfully. And I thought about it. So many artists focus on rendering in their paintings or drawing more than they think about expressing. And when I say expressing, I'm talking about talking about the intangibility of thought and emotion and spirituality versus the rendering of did I draw every eyelash or did I render their fingernails perfectly? Did I put uh, all these specific things in there that I get to weave in the patterns. Now, th and I have friends who are realist painters and they render to details beyond even what the human eye can see, but yet they do not sacrifice. I'm speaking of Adam, matter of fact, Adam Norcross, a uh, really great painter over in Durham, North Carolina. Matter of fact, check him out online. Um, but that gentleman, when he renders a painting, I feel the expressiveness of the figures and the people that he he's painting. It's not strictly about copying um, someone's likeness or to uh, document something for the sake of, of, of rendering specifics. If you look at the great painters like someone like Edgar Degas, who painted his ballerinas, oh my gosh, do you 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 have you have uh, a masterful under he has a masterful understanding of human form, expressive use of color, composition, using negative space effectively. My whole series of jazz paintings was based off the idea of painting, painting, and creating and and, and expressing the mood, the emotion, the intensity of the music, the verb, the 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 beat, the rhythms of music. I was expressing more than I was rendering. And so often I see paintings, they're well drawn, well painted, but they have no emotion. They have no soul. They're, they're lifeless holes. Uh, they're, they're, they're houses with no, that aren't homes. They're, they're empty and lifeless. So the artist is, is, is missed the big picture. The point of making that painting beyond is exercising a technical facility is making that bridge between that painting to a human soul, to the intellect and the spirit of another person. So in the, in your efforts to paint, you must find a way to capture the essence of your subject, the place, the person, the thing, and then communicate that. When I was painting my coffee paintings, I wanted you to feel a sensuality of drinking coffee, the hot drink, the charge of the caffeine, the, the aroma of coffee. When I paint my musicians, the music, the, 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 the sound, the synesthesia of color turning to sound and vice versa. Um, and everything I paint my landscapes, I wanted you to feel the, the movement, the sense of place. It's not so much it looked like Wrightsville Beach, but it felt like a hot day at the beach. So I say to you painters and, and render artists out there, sculptors, whatever, photographers, you know, so often, especially in photography, it, it's such a mechanical process. And I had a gentleman one time debate me. Uh, he was trying to, he, he, he was not on my level, so he could not debate me and, and, and win the debate. He eventually gave up. But the point was that he was so caught up into the mechanics of photography and depicting something. I said, yeah, but your picture does not separate itself from the plethora of pictures. I could pull it right now on Google. La di da. You got a really fancy camera and a lot of, uh, software. But did it have the same kind of emotion and punch when you looked at something like an Ansel Adams photograph, the mystery, the the richness, the the uh, uh, the soul of the, those photographs? I mean, you get the Internet and YouTube's I mean, YouTube, uh, Instagram's full of photos. But how many of them really move you on a on a on a, on a, on a visceral, uh, uh, deep fashion? Very few. They're just renderings, images popping at you. So I say to you, don't get caught up into rendering 
Not to say give up technical facility or academic painting or representational painting, but in that process, do capture the soul, the essence, and the and express what you're trying to say. Don't give up on that. So this is Eric McRae. Once again, you can see, see these videos on Instagram. No, not Instagram. Excuse me. LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook. Um, and you can follow, you go to my website, ericmcrae.com for links to all my other content, my artwork and so forth. And let's keep in touch and take care.